Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your November 2022 reading for Sun, Moon and Rising. If you're not familiar, if you're new to my channel, uh, I will do 20 seconds of the sound bowl first just to cleanse the energy, get into the space and tune in and then we will see what your message is, what you need to know for the month of November. We'll start with the sound bowl. So if you'd like to take a nice deep breath in, And exhale. Okay, Taurus, let us see what Spirit has to say for this month of November. Slightly different setup. I'll be doing three rows. Um, we'll get a what you need to know card first for the first row. Uh, then we'll do a theme of the month with a major arcana. And then we will do an oracle card for the final row. And then we're just going to use the whole deck of the tarot deck to do three rows again underneath that with your current energy starting the month, any obstacles or challenges for the month of November. And then the final pile will be the unified energy, the outcome for the month. Okay, so what does Taurus need to know for November, please? For their highest good, just one card, please. We have happiness. We like this. This talks about kind of really finding your inner child, uh, thrusting forward. We've got a lot of water energy there, so a lot of emotional abundance and that bright uh, sunshine. And also the fact that we've got two dolphins. One looks like the child, um, a juvenile with pe perhaps a mother. So there could be quite a nice sort of motherly energy coming through. But this is all about joy. Very nice. We like that. We like that. Um, now we will get a major arcana. So what theme is Taurus exploring for November, please? Just one card. What theme do we have, please? Okay, that one to jump there. So that's what I will do. Okay, we have... The Hierophant, this is wonderful because this is actually your card. Now, the Hierophant talks about spiritual ascension, rising high, higher learning, following certain rules and regulations as it pertains to moral ethics. Okay, so obviously this sometimes does relate to organizations and structures, but I feel as an overall energy, it was really looking at finding your true authentic self because this is this is a Taurus card. So really getting in tune with your sort of sense of spirituality, sense of where you are rising higher. And I feel the way to do that is through finding the joy in things, finding lighthearted things, joy, uh, fun, basically doing things for fun. I feel like you've been working really, really hard. There's a nice little amethyst crystal there. Um, working really, really hard. And sometimes it's important to balance it with a bit of fun. Okay, let's get an oracle card, please, for Taurus. Okay, what does Taurus need to know? Oh, I love this. I love this because we have awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being and integration. Okay, now this combined with this card over here is really about rising high. So we have quite a spiritual month for you in, the, in November. Things are being, you're airlifted up of a situation. You're finding the, um, you're finding the more in things. You're finding the potential. You're looking at the glass being half full rather than half empty. And it's all about, and I really love these kind of these, these light pink colors. I'm really drawn to these kind of shades of 
peachy pink is really standing out at me. So um, I think that um, a rose quartz is really going to help open the heart space for you. Okay, so let us bring the tarot. So we'll get three of each. I will cut the deck after um, shuffling. This is my deck, if you're not aware. Okay, only one of its kind as yet still. And we're going to get nine cards in total. Okay. Let's see what's coming up for you. temperance card trying to jump out there but we're not taking jumpers yet we'll take jumpers for the clarifying cards one more okay current energy starting the month we've got the five of pentacles then we have the Empress, love it. And then we have three of Pentacles. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, challenges for the month, star, healing. Not a bad challenge to have. Knight of Swords. King of Swords, ooh, really working with the air energy is going to be the challenge of the month. Outcome of the, oh wow, you've got the sun card. Your unified energy for the month of November. Illumination, prosperity. We've got abundance definitely coming in for you. Uh, we've got six of swords. So um, anything that was kind of a little bit stuck or a bit challenging in the headspace, in the intellect, in the mental body, um, is now kind of coming to light because you're moving on to calmer waters. I am aware I need to bring this up a bit further, don't I? Okay. I'm in Namibia at the moment, so I've got a slightly different setup, so I'm still working around the space. The final one is the lover's card, finding the passion, perhaps even a choice to make. This is really nice, Taurus. This is really nice. Okay, I might just uh, do that and do that so you can see all the cards clearly. Mm. So finding my little groove. Okay. So you are definitely rising high in the month of November. Okay, let us clarify before we get in, because we've got the Five of Pentacles here, which does talk about feeling a little bit um, left out in the cold, but I'm more drawn, again, as I was saying over there by that peachy, pinky colour, we've got like this, this ray of light coming through. You see, she's a person's meant to be a beggar out in the streets, but sometimes you just need to ask. So there is help coming for you. So this sometimes talks about where you, you're feeling the financial pinch a bit or you're feeling a bit kind of left out in the cold. No one knows where you are. But sometimes you need to just make yourself known. Sometimes you just need to kind of state your claim, claim what you need and ask. OK, and I feel that's really helpful. I feel like there is an outstretched hand for you because as soon as you stretch out your hand, people want to give. People are happy to give. And then we have the Empress card, which is full of unconditional love, full of prosperity and abundance she has more to give than you could possibly imagine because the more she gives the more she has to give that's how unconditional love works that's how her love works you the more you have you never run out of okay unless you're feeling in this space of being kind of closed off so really nice and i think the thing that's going to be really helping you is working together teamwork collaboration with other people okay connecting with one another Okay, so let us clarify this as you start the month. So can we please look at the Five of Pentacles? I'm using my mini Rider weight deck here. So Five of Pentacles, can we clarify please? What's this Five of Pentacles all about? Thank you. Ah, four swords, beautiful energy. So you, what's actually happening? The happiness that's coming from you is that lifting again. That 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 with that uh, 
energetic upgrade card, that lifting above, that heightening energy. So you're starting to heal. It feels to me, because there's sword energy, again, we're talking about the mental body, it feels to me like you are healing some sort of belief systems as it pertains to finances um, and as it pertains to feeling neglected. It feels like you're healing through that. So what that tells me for sure is any, any aspect, because this is a general reading, any area of your life where you have felt isolated, where you felt there's not enough to go around. So that could be obviously in a romantic setting, love-wise, but it could also be in a very physical sense. It could also be in your motivational drive moving forward. Any area where you felt kind of like a bit left out, okay, not part, not connected to everybody else. That is a thing that you're healing through. And I do feel like it's coming with some sort of a spiritual ascension over here with a hierophant and that awakening card. But I feel a meditation, but really it's also it's looking at the mental body and, and, and healing those mental beliefs that you've had about this feeling kind of um, left out. Now, what I absolutely love about this is I see a turnaround into the Empress energy, which is an extremely strong energy for you, and then into being connected again with one with, with other people, which is going to make you feel seen. It's like your voice is heard again for the first time in a long time. Let's go to Empress, please. Whoa, um, I'll take that one. I won't take all of these. I'll keep it simple but that one jumps straight onto the empress so that's the one that needs to be uh, taken this we shuffle okay so the empress we have judgment you see you are making that judgment call you are making that you it's almost like you're taking responsibility for your thought patterns your um, conscious awareness you're taking responsibility for how you see a situation do you see the the glass half full or half empty these are the changes that you can make within what i really love about both of these is not only are there major arcanas which means this is extremely strong energy coming into your life but the judgment also sometimes talks about kind of um spirit looking on you as well that higher sense and spirit actually exists within so it's about your internal body connection to your higher self kind of saying okay you've reached this point now you've learned everything you need to learn within this cycle and now we're going to kind of resurrect this energy that you have innate within you because that empress card is the venus card so venus is all about you taurus okay it's all about beauty and devotion and unconditional love right so you are really kind of stepping into a whole new paradigm and as you do so obviously you're lifting high above um i do feel like it's gonna you've got a little bit of a trip up of coming up over here but that's fine because the star card overrides it all so but we'll get there in a minute Three of Pentacles, can we clarify? So you are definitely going to start the month moving into space from going from left out into connecting with other people. And the bridge that fills that gap is this Empress energy, okay? Nurturing, creativity, seeing the more in things, seeing the potential in things. With the Three of Pentacles, we have the Empress again, okay? So for sure, we have absolutely, there's there's no denying this divine feminine energy that you are being infused with at this time, okay? The Empress is basically saying over here, I know that when I connect with other people, I'm working more from the space of the heart because I'm no longer isolating myself. I no longer have the um, barriers up trying to shut people away. I know that if I speak my truth to other people, people, I will attract the right people who are going to come and connect with me and try and make things happen in the real world. So this for me could definitely feel, because it's a three of pentacles card, this could definitely feel at some sort of physical project that you're doing, some sort of material project that you're doing. And as you start bringing in the right people and getting chat, it's like talk to people, you know, that TTP, talk to people. When you start really connecting with one, other, um, one another, you start to inspire other people with your energy. So the flavor of the month is that because you're in this high upgrading energy, airlifting energy and 
feminine divine energy it feels like people you're drawing people towards you but you're drawing the right people towards you you're drawing the kind of positivity the can-do attitude towards you so really really nice so when we've got the Hierophant, of course, we've got these two sword cards over here. And the sword cards, again, we're talking about the mental body, right? Air, air energy. Um, now, sometimes, um, with as I was saying before, with the Hierophant card, it can also talk about organizations and structures. So again, we're looking at the structures of our thinking, but now we have to implement them into reality and into our communications and into technology. All right. So um, we've got the star card here. So you've got the four of swords there, which is a healing energy, but the star card takes it to a whole new level. Okay. This is a really strong, this talks about wish fulfillment. It talks about having faith in the future. It talks about ultimate cleansing and healing. And I feel like, again, it's healing your, your, your sense of who you are at a soul level, or even connected to your higher self, because that highly spiritual card there and because of that card there but i also feel like this because this is quite um a, like where the star shines on you you're starting to feel not only connected to the cosmos in a very sort of spiritual setting and that cleansing energy of all that water but you could even be that people are starting to see you as a star okay you're shining your light um, which is really, really nice. And then we have a lot of communication coming forward. And then we have this King of Swords, which tends to be some sort of mental, mentor. It could also be someone you have to maybe answer to because it's in your challenge section over here. I feel like there may be a system or situation where you may have to, I don't have, I don't see the Seven of Wands here. So I don't see a defensive energy, but I feel like perhaps there is as some sort of authoritative figure that you may need to answer to okay with that with, because of both those cards but ultimately you're fine ultimately you're good so again it's like that final test anytime we learn something in life like a spiritual lesson we learn it we go we go quite deep to the core of it we understand it and then we think we're done right <laughs> doesn't work that way once we feel like we've got it like this energy here of going from place of lack mentality into absolute abundant energy here this is a situation in november where it brings it all to light and spirit is kind of going are you really sure you learned that okay it's says like the final kind of test okay so you get a, you, a curveball gets thrown towards you to really kind of see can you use what you've learned over here what you've connected in that judgment card and that empress card, can you now apply it physically, practically in the real world? Let's look at the star energy. Can we clarify the star? Thank you. Okay, we've got the two of wands. Now the two of wands, he stands at the top of his castle with the globe in his hand. Okay, he's holding one rod and the other one's behind him. So between the two things that you put all your energy into, so say for example, relationships versus career okay as an example there's one that you're holding on quite tightly and another one that you feel kind of settled and okay with but he's got the globe in his hand which is, means he's really kind of looking to the future he's looking at the he's having a kind of a global overview of his entire life and he's looking out into the horizon as he looks into the future and the globe seeing where is it i want to go where do, I want to, where do I want to move from here? Where do I want to kind of deepen my experience? So some of you, it's it's a case of trying to deepen the experience as it relates to relationships, or perhaps as deepen your experience with relation to your passions. We've got passions coming up quite strongly here. Or deepen your relationship, um, your, your connection to your work. Because it's with the star card over here, it tells me that wherever you are really kind of focusing on, it is um, promising a wish fulfillment, okay? One may be more so than another because it's a two, okay? But you still, because it's a two, uh, which sometimes talks about duality, okay, and polarity, it feels to me that now you're ready to step into the three, which is the empress energy. The three is a catalyst, putting it in burning it into like a really creative energy. 
So you, you're having that overview, that overview of your lifestyle, okay? And you've, you're starting, you're daring to dream now because you now that you have a bit more of a kind of a positive mindset and outlook on where your future may be looking, you, you can't pinpoint where it's going, but you kind of have this flavor of like, yeah, you know what I feel? I'm feeling a little bit more just positive, just optimistic, more so than I have been in a long time. And that's, and as you feel that, now you're daring to dream. Okay, let's have a look at this Knight of Swords. What is this communication coming in? Because this is a very curious energy, but also very kind of forceful, um, like fast energy, the Knight of Swords. And it is also a unicorn. So there's an element of magic involved here too. Okay, um, seeing the magic in things. But let's ultimately, it's basically action orientation to do with the mental body to do with anything of your thoughts and also but action so the communication so let's go to knight of swords please i'll take those two we have knight of wands and the moon okay so this is very clearly to me this idea of like now that you're sort of looking at the overview, either whether it relates to emotions, um, but this is feeling more like work relation. Um, you're trying to set, it feels, I don't know why, because huh. I don't have any kind of timing cards like delays here, but for some reason I'm sensing that all of a sudden you are wanting to now put something into action, something that you're really kind of excited, enthusiastic about because of that Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands and the King of, and Knight of Swords are really, really fast energies, but it's like, oh, I suddenly have this idea, now I want to do it. But then we've got the Moon card, meaning that actually, maybe you need to look a little bit deeper to the situation, or there's a bit more kind of information you need to gather, maybe from the King of Swords, in order to apply yourself in this creative endeavor. This feels kind of like project-based. It could even be, you know, to do with romance, but I'm feeling more like, it's more like some, some something career, something that's really kind of getting you excited. And the reason I say I don't see any timing cards, although the temperance card did bounce up in the beginning, but I feel because the moon card is there, this like energy, this urge to like get cracking and get going and maybe find the systems that work for you because we're under that Hierophant card. I feel like there may be a bit of a delay. So now that you're in this really powerful setting of like, okay, I now get it. I now now know where I want to infuse my energy and channel my energy into my creativity because of that empress card but i feel maybe there's a bit of a delay okay so there may be a little bit of it almost feels like mercury retrograde energy here where you know the it's, something's just not kind of bridging together so you've got all this energy but then the moon card is here maybe it's making you a bit kind of frustrated and that's again also the reason to kind of go hierophant and the awakening card slow it down what have you learned? Know that you don't have to rush it. Okay, let's look at the knight, the king of swords, please. Why is the king of swords here, please? Yes. <laughs> Seven of cups. So you've got lots of ideas, lots of ideas. So now what I'm definitely sensing, you know, I was talking about this energy, you just want to get cracking, you just want to do it because you're like, oh, I'm starting to feel that the glass is half full and actually, you know what, my glass is completely full, completely full. King of Swords with that Seven of Cups is basically saying, hold on a second, you've got two, your, your energy here is wonderful. Don't get me wrong, it's wonderful because of the Dolphin card there, because of the happiness and that joy that you're feeling. It's wonderful. However, it is scattered. It is splintered in many different directions. So really what it's saying is a challenge here, even though you've got this energy to get up and go and make things happen because like everything is just kind of falling into place for you in that respect, you don't really know where to put your energies. So the King of Swords tells you, okay, calm it down, return back to the mental body, collect your facts and figures. So if you've got this surge of energy, but you don't really know where to place it, Write a list of all those different ideas that you have, okay? And then do the pros and cons for each one. Or research each one individually. This is basically telling you to look at the facts, look at the figures. Maybe you should be even speaking to someone who is an expert in that field so you can gather your information. So I would say the challenge is even though you want to get up and, and get cracking for the month of November, it would be in your best interest to research each 
each avenue as much as you can and don't just leave the rest to chance. Rather get your facts and figures, get them all laid out in front of you so then you can focus your energy so your energy isn't scattered in too many di directions. Okay, let's look at the sun card. So we finish off the month. The unified energy is amazing. It is not only abundant, illuminating. Your mental body is sort of calmer, so you're not so scattered anymore because you're moving on to calmer waters after some choppy, choppy waters. And now you're invigorating the space of passion. But perhaps now's the point where you feel more drawn to one particular choice from all these choices available. And maybe you're choosing... Um, to invest more of your energy into fun. Maybe you're choosing to invest more of your energy and focus into your relationship, your close relationships, one or many. Or maybe you're choosing your energy to really kind of get your head down onto one particular project. So we have choice and it's about passion. Where is that passion? Let's look at the sun card, please. Let me clarify the sun, please. Taurus. Thank you. We have, oh wow, we have Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So all of a sudden, all this mental energy, which which could have been I was talking about, sometimes can get you a bit stuck. You know, that lesson of what you've learned and then you get an extra, um, an extra test to make sure you've learned it. There is 100% a belief system that you've had because there's swords energy it's a mental body energy there's something that you have been believing and it may very well be to do with the sense of lack mentality that you have healed through the month of november that belief system is dead done and over with okay you now see a clearer picture for some of you because this is a general reading for some of you it's a situation where Something you believe to be true, and perhaps you were doubting, you were kind of making excuses for somebody else. Now you see the full picture, and you know that there's no turning back. You cannot redo that situation. So the sun is bringing light and illumination to a a mental understanding of something, and this could have been a, in relation to some sort of betrayal or some something where you just felt like you're just over it it's now done and as you recognize that belief system coming to an end the wheel of fortune turns in your favor okay so you've got some good luck good luck coming in because now you see the light you see that you understand things i love the fact that you move from a ten of swords to a six of swords because now you can put that behind you okay and she does because she's on a boat she's moving forward now she knows what it is she understands her mental, but this is it's so spiritual, but it's really kind of talking about lack mentality versus abundance. Where do you choose to focus your energies? And it's, it's you're doing it in a very sort of spiritual way. But as you apply yourself in that respect, you start to see it play out in your reality as well. Let's go to the Six of Swords, please. Why is the Six of Swords here, please? I feel like it's more connecting you within the work set, in a work sort of setting, in a passionate setting. Ooh, we've got the devil. I love to see this here because what you're doing is you are now moving away. Six of Swords talks about moving away into peace. She is following the dove. Yeah, you can see the dove. Okay, so what's actually happening here is she is moving away from toxicity from toxic energy now yes this, this sometimes can talk about it a capricorn um but i do feel with the devil card devil cards really kind of talk about extremes of energy something that becomes a bit obsessive a bit possessive a bit kind of greed orientated um anything where any sort of normal emotion has been amplified to an extreme degree it can become toxic and what can happen as a result of that is we feel then imprisoned by it okay because both those the people over there have got a chain around their neck okay so they feel bound by it so what i feel what's happening with you is this belief system that you've now letting go of the lack mentality belief system you are now severing the chain you're severing the ties of that bound imprisoned energy and now you're moving into a more calmer state of mind 
which is beautiful. So you have detached yourself from something that has been holding you down. Beautiful. And you couldn't have done that without the reality check, with that illumination coming in and without kind of this beautiful Empress energy here. Let's go to the lovers, please. Can we clarify the lovers, please? Four of, four of, four of pentacles. Hmm, that's withholding, withholding your passion. Interesting, withholding passion, saving, keeping things close to his heart, choice, deciding not to choose. See, he's holding the pentacle. He's got his arms firmly wrapped around that central pentacle, which is over the heart space. So yes, he's got his feet firmly on the ground and he's got a pentacle on his head, which is his mental body, but he's really grasping that central pentacle there over his heart, like someone's gonna take it away, right? So he's in a very kind of protective space over his heart. Or perhaps that's where his, the majority of this focus is in. I need to get another card because it seems to me that if, you've, if you're in a situation where you, you kind of feel like you're detaching yourself from a toxic relationship, this may be that you're sort of holding yourself. Um, you're in a very sort of protective energy of where you put your passions. So it's reading a bit like that, but obviously that's not going to resonate for anybody, for everybody. And then the other way that it reads is because obviously tarot always has multiple meanings and it depends how they integrate and influence each other, which is how people read it. And obviously I'm an intuitive reader, like all tarot readers are essentially. Um, but then also there's a situation of this kind of harnessing harnessing your passion kind of putting more focus into it but maybe the choice here is now that you recognize that um sort of finances and in uh, abundance and things like that are related to a a belief system there's maybe the choice here to rather maybe i should just say maybe i should just kind of create a nest egg for myself so i so i know that i it's like it feels a very kind of protective energy because, I mean, they are cradling each other as well, which is very protective too. I mean, obviously it's very affectionate, but it's a very kind of being being embraced, isn't it? Um, I just want to get another one. Anything else, please, for the lover's card? I mean, it could for some of you mean that when you have this recognition of a belief system as it relates to lack mentality versus abundance that you start to by rising high with that energetic card that a vibration card you're recognizing more within especially within your heart space about where to protect your energies rather than to sort of let because we do have to be protective of ourselves and i don't mean overly protective or paranoid i just mean when you have an element when you have risen risen to a level, especially with that energetic upgrade, risen to a level of kind of self-love, you start to appreciate what you are, your own heart, um, more so than others, right? Because it's important the more that you do within, then you see it play out in other people. So it could also be the situation of, I'm going to nurture my heart and my things, around me because it's pentacles that is good now for me and that's a choice i'm gonna do i'm gonna do less of trying to make sure everybody else is okay and people please i'm gonna look within um so there is a slight energy of that but it doesn't seem massive so let's just see thank you we have oh very nice knight of cups and king of pentacles okay so you may be at a situation where it feels to me that at the end of the month, the unified energy for November is a situation where you have an offer that comes in for you, offer, an offer that comes with love. So it could obviously be a romantic um, offer that's coming forward for you, a message, you know, and it also is that um, uh, it could also be connected to work. But wherever it comes from, it's coming from a place of love, right? 
and it could be coming from the knight of the king of pentacles who would be like an earth sign but doesn't have to be an earth sign someone who's very kind of grounded and practical so it could come from that person but it also talks about the energy of the king of pentacles which is very logical long-term um focused in a very practical down-to-earth level okay it feels to me that having gone through this whole experience of november i feel that if there's a choice about whether to accept that offer okay from this another person this king of pentacles or from a business owner i feel like you're kind of holding yourself back and you're not making the choice what do i do do i choose to follow someone else or do i choose to follow myself so this could again be like someone if you were detaching yourself from a certain energy here this could be a return okay and that feels to me almost like the ultimate test because i don't see that you want to do it i feel like you're harnessing your passion within more so which is really nice and even though the king of pentacles is here that could be coming from another person i feel like you now are kind of working towards no no, no i'm not going to be tempted with those short offerings anymore i'm going to be working with the the offering of my own heart and you step into your king of pentacles energy because you are a, the king of pentacles you know there's an earth sign that's you taurus so you really are starting to look long term so and part of you could be a situation of choosing to save for your long-term stability part of it could be to kind of go choosing to harness your own heart over and above any, anyone else to then uh, move forward in the space of love and some of you could also be choosing to um, reject an offer that comes forward for you because you know that actually you need to do more inner work so take that as it resonates but all of them are equally equally exciting because you are really kind of it's it's like fine tuning where your direction is where in the beginning you, you've, you've got this massive shift and then all of a sudden all the excitement of healing through that has upgraded you to the degree of understanding that there's so much potential and everything and all of a sudden your energy is splintered in all different directions and then by the end of the month you go i'm focusing on this now this is what it's all about so it's quite a lot happening for you in the month of November and it doesn't feel like happening on a very physical level. You, you know, it feels more within, but the more things you do within, you're going to start to see things play out in your reality and you're going to be like, ah, oh, I get it. Ah, oh, I get it. So it's a really nice reading, um, Taurus. I hope that it resonated. I hope it helps. If you uh, please like and subscribe to my channel, of course, very free. Um, it is free for you to do and if you're interested in a personal reading uh, details are in the description box below you can check it on my website all right take care and i will see you next time bye